also okay so I've probably said on a few occasions here and there okay uh, that I've spent an extraordinary amount of time on the streets and stuff so here's one little story and um, so a friend and I, we were up to no good, uh, but we were always good guys and stuff like that. And um, I, 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 scouts on him, you know. I, um, so yeah, we we were good guys and stuff like that. Doesn't mean that we were perfect or whatever, but we definitely weren't bad guys. But still, you know. So um, uh, I was a street artist, and that's a really, you know, very nice way of. of putting things and stuff like that. I definitely wasn't on the drug side, I definitely wasn't on the gang drug dealership side, but so much of that went hand in hand, and the broader or the larger amount of our crew, of course, that's that's just reality, right? But, um, so, there were my friend and I, you know, up to no good, causing our trouble and stuff like that, doing what we thought was, you know, great art and stuff like that, or, and, and, um, so, these two guys come, and and we've always lived. I've always lived on the on the borderline, and and to some people, it, relatively speaking, they may already think that they're bad neighborhoods. But I've always lived at least on the borderline of you know, okay neighborhoods and bad neighborhoods, or what that would be stereotyped or whatever as bad neighborhoods or poor neighborhoods and stuff like that, uh, where where we didn't make a family, didn't make a lot of money, or and and a lot of times that one of the key factors, at least back then, of the reason why was because uh, parents were single and stuff like that, and somebody's mom or somebody's dad wasn't there for whatever reason and stuff. So uh, yeah, so it gets a little bit tough. You only had that one that one income and at any time in, in any generation. I mean, obviously having two incomes is better than having one income, right? Uh, so. Um, so we were in the bad neighborhood and stuff, uh, and, and um, he's uh, middle of the night and these two kids uh, catch us by surprise, I because we were all caught up in, in our art and, and stuff. And um, uh, the thing that we have, we have a known thing in, um, among us of friends or whatever, is in trouble like that because we have no flexibility with the law, okay? we run is any 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 problem that we face okay that uh, well one of the options is to run because there is no there's no legal side that could help us because we're already doing bad or at least that's what you think when you're a kid right you're already doing bad so there's no nobody you get nobody's going to be sympathetic for, for your plight or whatever all you have is yourself and you're in somebody else's hood and you're in somebody else's turf and all that type of stuff like that so Anyway, we run a lot of times. Sometimes we don't. <clears throat> sometimes you don't run, but most of the time you run because you're just in a you're in a vulnerable state, right? You you have all the stuff on you as well and stuff, and you know. So where's this story going? <laughs> it's as clear as that, uh, but it definitely pertains to what I was saying before, and you'll see. <clears throat> so so the first first instinct or whatever, it, whether it's an instinct or we know what to do or whatever, we run. So I ran, okay, and, I, and, and when I turned around, okay, I saw that my friend didn't run. He was caught. So the two kids, bigger than us, older than us, okay, definitely bigger and older. And that means everything when you're like a teenager, right? So uh, that is, a, that can mean everything. So so now I'm a pretty decent distance. I'm like a parking lot away. And I see my friend, right? And he's caught. And the two gets, and they, and they, they got him now. And it's amazing. I, I, I remember back then it was amazing because I didn't really do a lot of thinking, whatever. But there was a, but it does pertain to what we're talking about now. Okay, my first reaction, my first decision was run. And I ran. I was clear. I was gone. They weren't chasing me. They didn't care. Okay, now the next moments after were also very much split second moments. Didn't have a lot of time. You know, I didn't have the, the, you know, it was all going down. They were now taking him, moving off of the avenue. It was the avenue, 
you know, here's the avenue, here's where we were, there's a parking lot here because it was like a little shopping, and, but the, you can enter the parking lot from two different, two different ways, from this avenue and from this perpendicular smaller street and stuff like that, or the federal housing is right here. You know what I mean? If you get my, if you, you know, I don't know, all the friends would, would know from, right, from the past. So, so I ran thinking we would run across the parking lot, right? So when I got to the parking lot, to the end of the parking lot, and this exit part over here, I turned around, I saw my friend here. Now they're walking, they're walking this way, and I'm like, I ran back. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I had no game plan, you know what I mean? I didn't do anything when I got there. That was the most amazing thing. All I did was say, I guess, in the end, I said, well, hey, you know, you capture me too then. Did nothing. Did it, I didn't even, like, stop meters or feet away and try to, you know, blah, blah, blah. I just ran straight up to them. And I, I, I can't, it's really, I, the one thing I can't, I, mean, I don't know what I said or what, or whatever. I, yo. But the thing is, I guess, okay, I didn't leave my friend alone. Split second decisions, I went back. Uh, and this is what you're training for. This is, at least, if you believe that you can't train reflexes and you can't change, okay, or develop or improve on them or modify them, then what you can do is at least instill and, 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 and get comfortable with decisions after that, the, uh, the reflex, after that initial phase, right? So if you want to know what happened to that story, whatever, they took us off to the side, they took us to the fringes of the federal housing, and they gave us a big lecture and also, um, you know, harassment and everything and stuff like that, and uh, you guys like coming to this neighborhood and making this neighborhood shit, and the thing was, it was our neighborhood, it was still part of our neighborhood and stuff like that, but the assumption, the assumption because of, you know, because of what we looked like, and, and stuff like that. So the assumption was that we were from somewhere else going, and I understood, we were from somewhere else going there because, because we had no respect for the poor area. So we were just causing trouble and doing shit in the poor area and stuff. And so they made it, they made it known. And the, uh, the bigger guy was lined up with me. They had lined us up, my friend and me, I'll never forget it. And uh, the bigger guy was lined up here. The smaller guy was lined up here. They said all their shit. Um, uh, there's things that I said back. I argued with them a little bit. Not too crazy, but I answered because they said some nasty stuff as well. They said some stuff that, that were, you know, they were judging and, and thinking who, who we were. And I made sure, okay, that regardless of what it looked like, when they said a couple of those things, okay, I made sure to say no, but that, that's, not, that's not me. That's not true. It's not why we're here. Because it's, it's never been true. I've never been that type of person to do something because an area, I think this area, I have no respect for this area or I have no respect for these people for whatever reason. Because of their gender or color, it's never been me. I don't do things like that. I keep things really simple. Friend the phone, I don't give a shit about the color of your skin or whatever. With all due respect in that type of situation or whatever. Okay. It's always been about, you know, friend the phone. Danger or are you sincere and cool and not threatening my life. So I made sure to deny those things, and I was steadfast about them. When they were done, okay, the small guy punched my friend right in the face, and the big guy punched me right in the face. What a hit. I never forget. It's a hit. You could smell the hit, right? And his fist was so big, I never forget this, and his knuckles were so large, right, that he put... This, my nose went between his knuckle. He put, uh, I had, a, I had a, a mark on this side and a mark on that side for like a couple of weeks. And um, it didn't break my nose. Uh, and I took it, and I never forget that. I took the shot. I didn't even wilt. I didn't stumble back really too much. And it was a hit. But I remember, I mean, I, I probably just like that, but I wasn't, I wasn't like weak in the knees about to like, you know, pass out type of thing. I took the hit. And uh, I'll never forget the next day in, in school, when we were in high school, and for the week or two after that, so you go like this all day because it's so stiff and you can't help but, you know, and you just think that you're just going to unstiffen it and wiggle it out and, and I'll never forget those two marks right there. I mean, it's not the only time I got punched in the nose. 
and a person that knows a lot. But um, so I never forget that. And, um, it did some messed up things and stuff like that. They, they probably like you know if it was today, phew, be all over the news. But you know we weren't entirely in the right as well. So and um, it is what it is and stuff like that. So so after so after and then they 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 left or they told us to get out of there. We got out of there. And the funny thing is like my friend's house is only minutes away, and so we went we went to his house and uh, we had a wash up and everything and to clean up our faces as well stuff like that. Not because they were mangled, but for other reasons as well. Our faces were different for a little while until we were able to, you know, scrub it off. <laughs>